Hello! Today we're going to talk about sautier bowing. Sautier is a French term that just means to bounce or a springiness in the bow stroke. And it's done at a very fast speed and it's done with repetitious movements. So what we'll do first is a, a tapping exercise. If you could take your thumb and touch it to the first crease on your tall finger, make a circle. This is the way we would learn to hold the bow, but this is an advanced bowing technique. The tapping exercise now is to tap into the palm of your hand. This is an exercise that my teacher Paul Rowland taught and it was really effective. So first thing is just to start tapping, just like a woodpecker tapping on the side of a tree, on the side of our house, which they love to do. And notice what's happening in my elbow and my hand. The elbow is actually moving in the opposite direction. When my hand goes down, the elbow goes up. There's also a slight rotation in my shoulder, but rather than really thinking about all of that, you can think about shaking a salt shaker. It's the same kind of principle of motion. There's a fulcrum right about here, like a teeter-totter, maybe a little closer to the elbow, a little farther away depending on your arm, and that should help you if you want to feel it to put your finger there. So that motion is going to be critical when we do sautier. What we'll do first is do some fast detaché strokes near the upper half of the bow, near the tip, and then gradually move upward toward the middle, a little past middle. And as we're moving, we're going to change this motion from horizontal to a downward motion. <clears throat> the more downward you go, the more springiness the bow will have. So let's give it a try. We'll use a fingered note to make sure that we don't have the open string bouncing around so much that it interferes with the sautier motion. I like to use flat hairs and just start with some rapid détaché. the unevenness at the first part because of tension in my arm, because of a little bit of uh, talking and not concentrating on, on smooth and even bowings. Very important. Now another thing that's important is the closer you get toward the frog, the slower the sautier can be. And as you are further away, if you're actually moving from here this direction, you might notice that it'll start to spring off right about in the middle of the bow if you're going fast enough. So it will be faster up in this area of the bow and the sautier will be slower in this area of the bow. So experiment with different speeds. Here's a faster one. sautier and I hope that you will be able to use it in your literature. <laughs> 